Hello everybody and welcome back to Finbubbles of Tekkit City. So we're just showing you the inside of the power plant or what it's like so far. Um, not much going on, really. it's a bit bare but that's all about to change. So here I've sort of manufactured my own artificial oil island as such um, and this is where I'm going to build some lovely oil like setups for um, combustion engine power which will all be explained as we go along. So firstly I've got to build my oil towers to suck the oil out of the ground. I didn't want these to be boring little, just like, basic blocks with just a pump on them. Oh god, that would be terrible. I want Everything needs to have a look, um, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it, that's what I wanted from this. So, I had no idea how I was going to do this. I just sort of went and started building. I started scaffolding as it looks the most sort of oil riggy type. And um, I sort of built up around them, put the pumps down, put the uh, the redstone engines down, which will be sucking out all the, the oil. And... Um, so I've gradually built up and decided to make a structure. So here I'm just sort of messing around, not entirely sure what I'm doing. All I knew is I wanted it to be fairly high. Um, and here I tried to like mimic the ideas of the ones I actually have on land. So you know they have like the weird hammer coming down and like they rock. And that's how the, the pumping works. I wanted to sort of try and mimic that. Um, but I, could, I thought the style just looked horrible. So I just went for, I completely got rid of it and went for something completely different. I just decided to go straight up, use my own style. Invent my own type of uh, oil rig. So um, here it goes. So we're, I'm sort of building up with scaffolding, tearing it in so it gets thinner. And I put a lovely little green light at the top so it uh, sort of glows in the darkness. Uh, everything to do with power is obviously green. Um, that's how I decided I wanted to do it, um, as in other power plant episodes. So yeah, um, here I'm just mimicking it on the other ones so you can see it a bit clearer. Um, I kind of had the camera wrong, slightly wrong, so you can't see the very top, but you know, I think it looks pretty good, especially at night. They, they, they look really nice. Uh, and also on my screen, the textures of the iron brick blocks um, are connected, so it makes this cool sort of weaved pattern, which I really like. So yeah, that, I, I deliberately put sand and stuff underneath them to make it look like a sort of deserty biome, because that's where you find oil naturally. Um, just putting the pipes in, and then we go inside the factory. Actually, no, we pan around it first so you get a better look. So this is what they look like. Um, pretty cool, I think. I mean, I could have gone crazily elaborate and gone mental with them but I think they look good like that I mean they're meant to be simplistic all they do is pump oil up to the teleport pipes at the top and then suck them inside um, to the factory so um, they look quite nice from the ground so yeah I, I, I don't think that was too bad so in here we're starting this is where the oil is going to be refined into fuel because fuel is far more efficient than um, oil if you didn't know in tech yet so we're putting tanks down for it to all go into and then putting the teleport pipes at the top where all the oil can just be dropped into then that oil then needs to be sucked out using uh, red uh, waterproof pipe, not red, wooden waterproof pipes into the oil refineries and I decided to go for the different colours of pipes and to match them up. Um, the oil refineries take a god forsaken amount of energy, like an insane amount, so we'll figure out how I do that later, You'll sh I'll show you. So that's just the basic layout for that. So once the oil has been refined it's going to come over to this side of the, uh, the factory, just directly opposite. Um, where it's going to be sent into combustion engines. So the two outermost tanks here are for water and the two innermost uh, is where the, the fuel is going to go. And I wasn't entirely sure how to actually make this work. So there's a little bit of me sort of faffing around. So here you can see um, they do run but I didn't have it set up quite correctly. So the water is going to be in the stone pipes and the cobblestone pipes is where the, um, the, the fuel is going to go into. It's going to be pumped in. And then the energy from the... Um, Cobble, why am I saying cobblestone? Combustion engines even, sorry. Um, is being sucked out um, by uh, red power pipes and um, wooden ones. So it's the same way a... Uh, and I'll get back to that in a minute, sorry. So here I'm just turning everything on and fiddling around with um, the setup. So you can see the oil refinery is working. Um, and you can see the little pumps still flowing. It's pretty well, but you can see the refineries aren't actually barely moving. That's because not enough energy coming from the... Uh, the geothermal generators over there because I piped it under the ground and for some reason they're glitching out and you'll see that later when I go into first person and have a look but um so I decided to put a HV solar array on the roof which you'll see in just a minute but it looks cool in super speed with all the stuff flowing around so I quickly put a um, HV solar array on the roof because these produce an ungodly amount of power but I think they're slightly cheaty because they just produce too much and it's too simple um, so now we're back to here and it's me realizing that my design doesn't work. So basically, um, the power is sucked out of the 
um, combustion engines via the red pipe into the gold pipe and then it can be put into an MFSU via well, I just thought it was an energy link, but it's actually something completely different. So, um, you'll see when I go into first person, I'll explain it. So, in a minute, I'll destroy all of this, and um, I'll do it. I'll show you how I build it exactly up, and then explain it more, in more detail. So, um, I'm doing it like this. So, it's like a flower arrangement, and um, it's sucking out from the center. So, there's actually eight, so it's much more efficient, and it makes quite a cool like system like that. So, yeah, I'll explain now. Right, so here we are um, with my oil riggy setup thing. Um, so I'm coming down to first person to show you how it all works, because goddamn, this was complicated to set up. Um, so here we go, we have the oil towels, which I think looks they look quite cool. I wanted them to be eyesores, and my god, they are eyesores. Um, they're all sucking up uh, oil into the teleport pipes from the pumps down here. Um, and the good thing about these is because I'm in creative and whatever, I can just go down and refill the holes when they've run out of oil. So this can be perpetual, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass to keep going down the holes and uh, refilling them with oil. But it's fine, um, it's pretty efficient, and I don't know, I think the green lights work. I, uh, I want everything to do with power to be green, so um, this is that. So, so that I think they look good. Let's see how they look from a distance actually quickly. Um, let's just have a turn around. Oh, they look, they look pretty cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. They look pretty decent next to that. And considering we're going to have the factory sitting here, which is going to be absolutely absurd, um, it's probably going to be bigger than this, to be honest. It's going to need to be because it's so much crap. So look, let's go inside and see how it all works in here, which is where it really gets complicated. Well, I mean, it's not complicated, but it's kind of hard to get going. So we have the oil uh, teleport piped into here to save it making a mess everywhere. Then pumps all over the goddamn place to get the oil into the oil refineries. The oil refineries are, uh, are powered by the solar panels which are on the roof. I were, use, uh, were using I was using these, but for some reason the geothermal generator, some of them are glitching out, so like, these two are working right now. Um, but for some reason these two don't want to be doing anything. I don't know, I'm not sure why. Um, but, uh, doesn't matter. So, I'm using that solar panels on the roof because it's just so much more effective. Look how much more quickly the, uh, the oil is going through. And God, this is going to be filled up soon, so I'll have to turn this on in a minute. But we'll get over to that in a minute. Um, so yeah, the power is coming to power these um, refineries. Um, and it's being transferred by an energy link. So you can just energy link straight into the back and get this to work. And then it's being teleported piped over to here, the other side of the room. And God, what much space is taking up? So look, this is just one machine, pretty much. So that's why we need all this space. Um, and we're going to add a few more. Uh, next, I'll probably do one or two more episodes in the power plant. And... Um, fill it up with even more pointless junk. So, well not pointless, just cool cool stuff. Cool ways of doing things. So, oh, I haven't thought about this very well, have I? Um, it's fine. Uh, how am I gonna... Some of these might not work, but that... Oh, didn't want to throw that lever. So basically, um, what's gonna happen here is the oil is going to be pumped into these, which I'll probably do now if I want to show you guys it. So, this should start pumping, yep. Like that. So I've hit them in the ground just to make them out of the way a bit. So um, they're surrounding the circle and they're going to be pumping into this red power, um, like a wooden, wooden red power pipe, into the gold red power pipe. And the reason that it was all wrong before is because I had this thing wrong. Um, this is a MV engine transformer or something like that. I was using an energy link because I thought that's what you need to be. actually need one of these things. Um, and then it transfers into MFSU, and it does work. I think it produces 140 um, uh, EU per pump, which is not bad. So that's, I'm considering we're going to have four of them on each of the things. Um, they shouldn't run out of water because, oh, I didn't show you this actually. Um, there's two little, like, water pumps out here to collect water, which is sucking them into there. So these are just perpetually getting water. Um, so that water will never be an issue, which is good. It's good. That's why I built the plant near water. So they're going to be constantly full. Um, these are pumping oil into these now. So this should... Right. So how am I going to get the levers on them? I didn't think about that uh, when I was building this. Right. And then we should see it working. Right. So I need some... Uh, let's get some basalt bricks. That's what I've used for the whole thing. Um, this should be alright. I should be able to... It, it might look a bit messy, but, you know, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, right. So we'll get one lever here to turn this one on. Boom. There we go, look at it, it's going. And the energy should be coming straight into here. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that, that's really quick. Okay, that's good. Um, then we'll get one on this one. They shouldn't explode either because they're going to be con con continuously filled with water. 
Now these ones, I haven't really thought how I'm going to power these. Uh, will it work if I do this? Is it too far away? Can you put a lever on panelling? That might work, maybe. It's annoying that you can't put them directly onto them. Um, God damn it. Why can't I do that? Right, let's try with panelling. But we'll get the, all these ones going first. So you, I can prove to you that the system does work. I've just sort of misdesigned it a little bit. But it looks goddamn cool, I think. It looks like a sort of nuclear reactory chamber. Oh, God. Well, it, it doesn't look like... Ah! Oh! Oh, we can get the ones on the floor working as well, because there's a gap there. So that's fine. If only what if only one of each is not working, it's fine. Um, so we can get one on down on the floor working. Boom. In fact, I, I don't even need that, do I? I can get them both powered up. Oh, that's good. Okay, right. So we can get rid of this messy thing. Um, boom, boom. And we'll get it here turned on. And these are really effective. So look. Oh, you can see the electricity going through. Look, the little blue line. How cool is that? Look, at, look how quickly this is generating energy. Um, oh my god, this is good. And into here too. Lovely. So this is a good use for oil, um, I feel. I think it's a really good use for oil. Can we get rid of these? Do we need these two? No, we don't. Okay, so that works. So we can just put two blocks of basalt here, like so. And put two levers on there. And then we've got them all going, look at that. Boom. Oh yeah, so we've got like two rings kind of with pipes coming out of them. So the water's going to all of these. I think I'm making sure the water's still going to all of them. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. If it wasn't, that'd be bad <laughs> to say the least. Right, let's just check they're all filled with water. Yeah, look, water's max in all of them. They're not. It's not going to go down. Um, and these are super efficient as well. So I mean, it's as efficient as it can be with a. Uh... Look at this. So look at the power. So yeah, this is a cool little contraption. I, f I just thought it was really fun. Sort of, it's just fun to do stuff like this. Like, it's, it's too easy to have these HV solar rays, and I'm probably going to get rid of it at some point. Oh, I might leave them on there in case I need extreme power for certain stuff. Like, teleporters use absurd amounts of power. Um, so I might leave this up here for that. But, I mean, other than that, I, th I think it's pretty good. So we've got our old... So let's just go over everything we've done so far. So we've got the lava generator, the geothermal generator. Which is just overflowing and it's a little bit broken, but it's fine. It, it looks cool. Um, we've got the um, transformer station. Let's see how much energy is actually in this from the thingies. Oh, it's sort of. Does it run out? Oh, come on, let me click. So it's still generating energy, but um, it's not going up anywhere near as quickly as the the combustion engine one. So that's going to be good. We're gonna. I'll wire this into. Um, that over there next time for next episode. So this will be wide underground. Um, I had to do a lot of digging and faffing around this episode. It was, this was because I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I thought I did, but I, did, I didn't. Oh, look, it kind of looks a little bit like like little ears and a, a, a mouse face. Oh, oh god, and yeah, the raw oil in my hand. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, suggest what I should be building next time because I found this quite fun to do. I like doing the more technical stuff. Um, it's just it's just really enjoyable to do. You know, once you finally get it all working. And this factory is going to, well, this power plant even is going to look amazing once everything's finished. Um, I hope you agree. I mean, I'll get, I will get the nuclear reactor working by the end of one of the the power plant episodes. So suggest what I should put in this gap here, in this gap, and in those gaps over there. Um, and then we'll have a fully functioning power plant that's going to produce us a bazillion energy. And then um, with that, we can do some cool stuff in the factory. And the, the factory is going to be absurd because there's so many things that need factor right like oh i'm gonna make automated everything it's gonna be insane that is i've got a lot of ideas for that so definitely stay tuned tell your friends about this because this series is gonna be like novel let's build <laughs> i'm not gonna lie this is gonna be ridiculous so this is the really complex stuff that's gonna come up in the next like four five six episodes um and i'm gonna enjoy learning how to do it all i know most of it like but i just sometimes i make little mis like if you put a pipe in one wrong place then it screws you over like i was did earlier this you saw me like mess it up a bit but anyway I um, yeah, sorry for that slightly short episode, but this was quite a mess uh, trying to get this all working. Yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Suggest power sources I should put in next time. And um, come back, definitely come back. Bye-bye.